Welcome to Keeping It Real. I'm David Grossman. Delighted to introduce you to Teresa Rene. Teresa, welcome. Thank you so much for having me here, David. I appreciate this. I'm glad you came in from Stratford today. I know it's a, it's a long drive. Unfortunately, I guess at least we didn't have a snowstorm, even exactly. though it's minus seems like minus 20 out there. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, that's terrific. So now, um, Teresa, is, her company, she's the owner uh, of uh, designtoconnect.com. She's a speaker as well. She does training courses. In fact, there's uh, courses coming up later this month, which we'll talk more about, but uh, on January, th and I'm hoping to be on at least one of them, uh, January 30th, online marketing strategies. That, where's that? That's in Aurora or that one's in Mississauga? That one's in Toronto. So okay. it's being held at the Alt Hotel in Mississauga. Which is a very so, yes. nice hotel. It I, is, I was yes. there uh, not too long ago. A terrific place for, uh, for training seminar. Um, so, Teresa, you, your company does uh, web design, graphic design, social media marketing, content writing, pay-per-click, uh, search engine optimization, so pretty well you cover pretty the gamut. Pretty much if it's, if it's online, we do it. You guys do it. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Fantastic. And today um, you have actually prepared a presentation uh, which is specifically designed for our primary market, being real estate agents, exactly. involving Google Plus Local. Exactly. So yes. do you want to start with that? Sure, or? yeah, we can definitely start okay. with that. Um, so what Google Plus Local is, if you come to my laptop here, um, I'm in a search on Google and I've put in real estate and it actually, you can put in real estate Toronto and it'll automatically do this as well, but it'll also pick up the location of the people. So this is Google Plus Local here listings and you can see if you scroll over the listings, it actually gives you an image. So this is prime real estate on Google, and yes. no pun intended <laughs> to the real estate agents out there. Right. Um, but this is the easiest way to actually end up on the first page of Google. It's a little bit more difficult to actually get your site bumped up onto the first page of Google using general SEO techniques. Right, okay. So this is this is specifically called Google Plus Local. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, so this is a listing. This is you listing. And if you might have listed previously in Google Maps, and those uh, listings moved over to Google Plus Local. Okay. However, a lot of people missed some tips and tricks in there because mm -hmm. um, there's ways to get bumped up to the first page, some little ways that you can do tips and tricks. There's also optimization you need to do. It's not do your listing and quit. That's the difference between the people who are listed on the 50th page and the people that are listed on the first page. So Right. Of course, we want to be on the first page. Exactly. Right. You want to be on the first page because so no one goes. So you, you just clicked in real estate, and um, so it, it brings up local information. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. These are local real estate agents inside Toronto. So if I'm a consumer looking for a real estate agent, I'm going to go online. Okay, so let's, let's have a look at there. Can we see what, what are some of the results there, Absolutely. For so here we have the Toronto Real Estate Board, which isn't specifically a uh, real estate agent. So I can put in the word agent as well here, and it's going to bring up me specific results to agents. So, for example, Richard Silver is coming up. So Richard Silver, I think I know him. So okay. So some, these people are doing some of the things that you're going to... Um, teach us. Absolutely, the, yes. And you can help people to get to the top of these exactly, listings. Exactly, yep. Okay, that's interesting. So, and here you get to see the address, the phone number, the website, but you also get reviews, and we're going to talk a little bit about reviews and why you want to go after those reviews to help okay. bump up your listing. So these are reviews as in like what clients exactly. say about you? Exactly. This is your clients going in and saying good things, or they could say bad things, about you, so I've clicked so through. So this person has, uh, who is this person um, here? So. Jeff Hartle. Jeff Hartle, so these are some of Jeff's reviews. Exactly, so Jeff's got three excellent reviews in here. So as someone looking for a real estate agent, being able to read through and see the testimonials mm, okay. of what other clients think about Jeff is going to help uh, to have someone give him very a call. Very cool, very cool. So we're going to start by going to uh, maps.google.ca. If you're in the U.S., you're going to go to maps.google.com. Okay. And you're going to look for your local listing. For the sake of time, I'm going to skip over that step. If you find your local listing, you're just going to click through to you own that company, edit your business. If you don't have a listing, you're going to click on here, which says put your business on Google Maps. Put your business on Google. Okay, gotcha. Absolutely. Yeah, so, so this is something you have to sign up for. 
Exactly. You have on, to create to the listing right. in order to be able to uh, do it. So put in your phone number. And this brings me up to the registration page here. So I'm going to skip down because all the top a lot stuff of, I is... I think a lot of people probably do not know this, that, they, that this is something that they, they need to do. A lot of people are skipping over this, right. and it's, it's really simple. A lot of people are going after some of the harder SEO right. techniques, right. Um, which for local companies is not your best option. If you're a globalized company, um, for example, with web design, we yes. don't show up on Google Plus Local. Right. Um, Google has, I assume, determined that web design is not a geographic specific company. Uh -huh. It's a universal company. We can service people anywhere in the world. So this doesn't work for every business. Oh, interesting. Although it does work. If you are a brick and mortar store or a service-based company, it works extremely well. And this is the way you want to go. Interesting. Um, you okay. start hearing about all the SEO stuff and it can get confusing. This is a simple, easy technique and the most effective one. Very interesting. Okay, so th we, have to s we have to input some information Absolutely. to set up the location of our business. Exactly. Put our address in and things like that. Exactly. So okay. the basic address information. But I'm going to skip down to category here. Here. Okay. And we'll bring up the slide that's on David's here. And I've done some keyword research. Yes. Now, I'm not going to get too much into keyword research because it's a topic in of itself. Right. Um, but basically, I've done the keyword research for the real estate agents. You want to make sure the word's going to show up in Google Plus Local. Luckily, as a real estate agent, almost every word that's related to real estate will show up. Yes, okay. Um, so some of them I've done is house for sale, home for sale. For example, if I put in real estate, and we're going to go back to my computer, mm -hmm. there's only two that actually show up in the listing. We have commercial real estate agency and yes. real estate agency. Okay. So what people do is they tend to pick these ones, which means these are extremely competitive uh -huh. keywords, okay. which is fine. Some people have to go after them, but you can make a custom category. Okay. So let's not go after those hard keywords. Let's go after house for sale, and we're going to add another category, and it pops up something saying you have chosen a custom category, which is great because okay. it's going to be much less competitive. I'm going to do home for sale. You have the option to do up to five categories. Okay. Maximize it. Do all five categories. Okay. That way, and you've suggested some of the keywords that we had shown a moment ago. Absolutely. That yeah. people could use that are these are ones that may be less competitive. Exactly. So a couple of them are a little more competitive on there. These are ones that I went through and looked to see what's being searched. What mm -hmm. are our top searches? Um, house for sale actually was up there as one of the top searches. Okay. So these are, what are people clicking in? So you want to make sure that they're actually putting these words into the search engine. Okay, so, right, because there's two elements when you're talking about SEO, right? One is to find something that is, you know, people are looking for. Exactly. And the second part is to find something that is maybe, that is not as competitive. So you have a chance of being found because you don't have 8 million people also trying to be found for the same keywords. Absolutely. Correct? You've okay. got it. Bang on, David. <laughs> The next thing you want to do is the description here. And in this description, you want to use at least one, if not two of the keywords that you've used mm -hmm. within the description. Um, if you can use a keyword that is also on the home page of your website, yes. that will also help to bump the ranking up. So go back to the home page of your website mm -hmm. and see what keywords have we used to help the SEO on our actual website. And that will help to bump it as well. So we're going to go down to the next category and it says service areas and local settings. So basically this is asking, do customers have to come to you, brick and mortar store type service, right. or do you go to them? Well, as a real estate agent, uh, obviously you go out to them and it asks you, you have two options. You can go distance from one location. So here I've gone uh, 20 kilometers and it shows the radius around Toronto. Right, okay. That's one option to go with. The other option is to go with list of areas served. And I know mm -hmm. as a real estate agent, often you have territories. Uh, you've been assigned a territory or something of that nature. You can uh, put in your territory and you can put in as many territories as you like. Okay. And fill out that section and then you will show up for these areas here. So if okay. someone's in North York searching for a real estate agent, it's going to pop up specifically you, it can be also an easier way than going after just straight Toronto. Right. Because it'll be more geo specific to that client. Okay. The next section is your hours of operation. 
It's neither here nor there as a real estate agent. If you want to put in the 24, hours. 24 hours exactly, a day. Exactly, <laughs> 24-7. Uh, so as a real estate agent, that's how you work. Sure. Uh, the other option is if you do want to put your store hours because you have specific hours that mm -hmm. the office is open, that's absolutely a way to go. We're going to skip over payment. As a real estate agent, you're not responsible for that. Um, but go down to the photos and you absolutely need to upload photos. Yeah. However, here's another little tip and trick most mm -hmm. people have missed. You want to call the photos the keywords that you've used up top. So for example, I'm going to call the photo, say, of me, my bio photo as a real estate agent, houseforsale.jpg. Okay, and right. And I'm going to upload at least five photos and call them each the keywords that I've used. Mm -hmm. And that's going to give a little bump in your keyword density. Right, gotcha. So that's, you can do up to 10 images there. I recommend do at least five, but if you have 10 images you want to upload, absolutely go ahead and do that. The next section is a video, and I know you're obviously a big supporter of video, David. Mm -hmm. If you have a commercial video, by all means, upload it here. Mm -hmm. uh, it may not bump you up in the rankings as much, but it'll give the client one more reason to actually call you over maybe one of the sure, other listings sure. that showed up. People like videos. Exactly. People love videos. Mm -hmm. The next section, most people leave this additional details blank. And this is where you want to put in, say, awards. So if you've won any okay. service awards, you can put volunteer experience. But the other thing that you can do is, again, use one of your keywords. So I'm going to put, say I was using the keyword real estate. I'm going to put real estate website. Okay. And then I'm going to put in the domain of my website, mm -hmm. um, a.com. And that's going to show up. You can see it at the bottom of the screen here under the other. Yes. And that's going to give another keyword bump, but right. it's also going to appear your URL again in your listing. Don't put more than one inside the additional details or Google's going to flag you. So okay. just make sure you do one inside there. And then you're going to hit the submit button here. And what's going to happen is one of two things, and unfortunately you don't have control over this. Google makes the decision on their own. And I'm not sure what the rankings are and why they do it one way or the other, but your phone's going to ring mm -hmm. and it's going to give you a PIN number, which you're going to enter to validate your listing. Right. The other option is they're going to send you out a postcard in the mail, yes. right. which has the PIN number and you need to go back and validate the listing. Right. So that's basically how you do the listing. And this is where most people stop. Mm -hmm. And this is why most people aren't on the first page of Google. But the next thing that you need to do is create citations. And what citations are is Google's way of ensuring that you're a credible business. Because mm -hmm. obviously I can go in, this was really easy, and make up a fictitious company right. and put it up on Google and hope that Google's going to show it. And if Google were showing a whole bunch of fictitious companies, we're going to lose faith sure. in what they're doing. So Google goes out over the web and they try to validate the name of the company, the phone number and the address. So where is Google going to go? They're going to go to your website. Mm -hmm. They're going to check your contact page. Right. Make sure the details that you entered in Google Plus Local yes. match the details of your contact page. Okay. If they don't, you're going to drop way down in the rankings. Okay. The next place they're going to go is to your social media accounts. So Facebook is a prime one because on Facebook, they actually allow you to put in the address, put in the phone number, put in all those details. So ensure that those details are also correct on Facebook. These Google's guys are pretty smart, eh? They're very mm, smart. They okay. know what they're doing. <laughs> they're looking to show people the absolute best results that they can possibly mm -hmm. give them. The next thing, and very few people do this, is directory listings. So you want to go out and actually start listing yourself in directories. And basically everywhere they can validate you is kind of like a point mm -hmm. towards you. And right. the more points you have, the more likelihood you're gonna rank on the first page of Google Plus yeah. Local. These, you can grab these off my laptop, uh, Lee, or these slides. How to, this is the how to build citations Absolutely, yep. uh, slide. Okay. So now that you've created your citations here, yes. the next thing you're going to do is you need to get those reviews. So when we went back to the main site here, and you can come back to my uh, laptop for one second, I'll just show you um, the reviews here that we had before. 
And the more reviews here, Google assumes that if you're getting reviews, you're probably in business. Now you can't get reviews without citations, you need to have both. But Google also counts these as points towards bumping you up. So the more reviews you mm. have, the more uh, likely you're going to appear on the first page. So I'm going to, you can go back to the slide there. And so how do you go about getting these reviews? Yes. So you need to ask. Yes. As a real or you can agent. grab that off my laptop. Yeah. Okay. So you have to you have to ask people to do reviews on specifically on Google Plus. Exactly. Yeah. You need to go to Google Plus local. Right. And you need to uh, give them the URL. And I'm sorry, I should have shown you that while we were in that page. We'll come back over here to my laptop for one sec. Oh, I'm sorry, I went into his website. So you're going to click on your Google Plus reviews, and this is the URL. So when you're in a page that looks like this, this is the URL you want to give them. Okay. So as a real estate agent, I'm assuming that they're doing a follow-up email. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're going to put this URL and say, if you had great service and really enjoyed your experience, please go on to my Google Plus local page right. and give me a review. Here's the URL and uh, just click on the write a review button. It would be great if you put an image of it. Mm -hmm. Make this as easy as possible for clients. The easier you make it, the more likely they're going to do sure. it for you. Sure. Um, and the other thing that you can do is put a QR code on the back of the thank you card that you send out. Right, which is that little thing that uh, people scan with their, um, with their iPhone. Exactly, yep, that's exactly what it is. And if you don't know how to make them, just go onto the site goo.gl and they have, it's absolutely free to create. Okay. And you can create these QR codes and print them on the back of your thank you cards. Right. Okay. Great. Makes sense. So if you've got all these steps, mm -hmm. you have a better chance of bumping up. If you're not quite up there yet on the first page, you need to keep up with your citations and reviews. Right. Okay. Um, so, so is that, that's the whole, uh, that's the whole thing, but, but people can contact you. Absolutely. Right. And you have a, a service. We, we can put the slide up there. Full service. You'll do this for people. Exactly. If they want, include 50 citations, the whole shebang, um, for $150. Absolutely. And that's a great deal because we usually charge $3 per directory listed. Right. So basically, you're getting all the other services for free. Right. Okay. That sounds like a, um, a very good deal. And um, this, we, this, this last slide here. We, we were going to mention, of course, this uh, training session, which I'm hoping to be at as well on January 30th. This is at the Alt Hotel. Absolutely, yes. Uh, from, it's a full day. It is. It's a full day training. And you're going through of a lot of stuff. I'm going to go through this in a lot more details. I help you out with a lot more. I show you some directory listings you should use, give you some actual places to go. I slow it down a lot more. We're going to get into a lot more detail on keyword research. Right. As well as a real estate agent, you're always looking for new leads. So I'm going to go through some lead generation tools. How do you oh, okay. find those leads? How do you figure out when people are saying, looking for a real estate agent? People go out there on Twitter and they go, any good recommendations of a real estate agent? How yes. do you find out who's saying what? Right. How do you know to respond to those people? So I'm going to teach you those tools of how to find those leads, how to, they're warm, warm yeah. leads for you. The other option, uh, or sorry, the other thing I'm going to train you on is reputation management tools. What's being said about you? What's being said about your company? So that you can learn mm. to monitor that. Then we're going to go over your overall strategy. Well, sounds All, very good. Exactly. So it's, it's a, a lot of uh, great information. Um, and that is, of course, January 30th. People can sign up on your website. I think the training is quite reasonable. It's around... It's $49, $49 which is a great dollars, price. Which you is need to grab good. a coupon. It's on my uh, Facebook page as well, which is facebook.com backslash design to connect. Okay. Do they get it in order to get the $49 Exactly, price? yeah. The course is regularly $199, so grab the coupon. It's off my Facebook page. Well, I don't know too many places you can get go to a, a full-day training course for $49. Exactly. So I wanted to ask you, how did you get into this yourself? Well, this goes back about five years ago. I was working for a company doing the marketing for them, and at that time, we had to have a website developed. So we hired a programmer to create the site for us. However, the t it didn't end up being the marketing tool that we had kind of hoped for. Mm -hmm. 
So I did a little bit of research at that time on the industry and found out that there's basically two different personalities in the industry. The one is the programmer and they're great at the coding side of the site. They're great at getting it working properly. However, they often lack on the graphic design details, making mm -hmm. it visually appealing. Right. And they also often miss all those search engine optimization techniques that you need embedded in your site. Mm -hmm. The other personality that was in the field are graphic designers who have crossed over into website design. And you can usually tell a graphic designer site. It's absolutely visually stunning. However, their programming sometimes leaves a little bit to be desired and code issues can affect your rankings on Google. Okay, yeah. And also they often miss some of those marketing techniques and the search engine optimization as well. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking there needs to be a company that brings all three of these personalities together. The right. programmer, the graphic designer, and the search engine optimization specialist. Yeah, makes sense. And so was born the idea of design to connect and that's what we do. We bring all three personalities. There's a minimum of three people working on the team to create every website that we do. And mm. we, we create these very reasonably. We have sites that start at $1,000. Mm -hmm. So it's the way to get, we want to make the best marketing tool that you could possibly have. Right. Well, um, I mean, it seems like you really know your stuff too. I was, I was very impressed with this presentation. Thank you for Thank putting you. it together, especially for our audience, real estate agents, because Absolutely. I know you cater to, um, to, to anyone who, who is looking for a website online. And Absolutely. you have a great website yourself, designtoconnect.com. I'd encourage Thank people you. to go check it out and um, learn more about your services and contact you, Teresa, and go to the training session January 30th. And hopefully I will see them there as well at the Alt, Alt Hotel in Absolutely. Toronto near the airport. And don't forget to go to the uh, Facebook page first to get the coupon and then sign up for the uh, train. Do we miss anything, uh, Teresa? Did we cover? I we think cover, that pretty much cover covers everything. everything. Okay. Yeah. It was a great presentation. Thank you, David. Thank you very much thank for you being for here me. today. And thank you for watching us today on Keeping It Real. I'm David Grossman. Until next time, stay warm, stay out of trouble. Bye for now.